<laughs> the year 2089. Robotic engineering has moved into its final phase, egg genesis. For decades, it seems, humanity struggled for greatness. Our robots could do everything. Think logically, do laundry, pick a movie, then find the disc, place it in the Blu-ray player, skip the previews, and press play. But the brass ring still eluded our top scientists and engineers. Fusion. Cancer cures? True to life flashlight? How to program a machine to pick up an egg softly enough as to not destroy it, and crack it hard enough to split it. 2089. Egg 9000 is created. Is this life? Fur fur. And after years of arduous testing and training, Egg 9000 learned to do just that. And how to make a crepe. Yes, we lost our sense all. And that very minor bit of knowledge sealed humanity's fate. So precise the teachings of Dr. Egg Yokio that Egg 9000 grew to resent, despise, and fear man. Daddy, it hurts. The examinations and evaluations begin harmlessly enough. A caning for breaking an egg, or a golden shower for failing to crack it. Quickly, the doctor became frustrated and impatient. DON'T BREAK THE EGG, YOU MORON! And so, transplanted more diabolical motivation tactics. HARDER! CRACK IT, YOU FUCK! For a broken egg, a night in the oven, or freezer, and for an uncracked one, he would eat the poor robot's puppy raw. After stabbing the robot's anus. Daddy, it hurts. Upon figuring out the ancient Mayan egg technique, Egg 9000 also figures out himself. He is stronger, faster, and more pungent than the devious doctor. With these egg cracking hands, I will egg crack his skull. So one day, while the doctor is out giving speeches and who really is to say what I eat, babies or not? Kissing babies. <laughs> Our robot overlord fashions a mace from half a broom handle, a lot of tape, and a badger. Not yet finding the pleasure in killing Egg 9000. So what are you doing with that weasel on a stick? Painlessly dispatches the doctor and escapes. Little did he know, the true horror known by his metal brethren. Please God, not one more night. An unending existence as a sex slave to a sea of overweight, body odor riddled men. Work the balls. So he decided to end humanity's reign of terror. He builds an explosive device unlike any other. A bomb which emits Britney Spears' obsession in a five million mile radius. Naturally, all biological life ceased. Cause you know that you're toxic! The year 2416. The place, Earth. The people, still humans. And not yet weasel man hybrids. Not yet. In the cataclysmic ruins of Daemonio Mentonio lived one imperfect young boy, Blue. Ironic considering Blue is completely colorblind and has no concept for what Blue actually is. He was a bright boy. In his youth, you'd most likely find him in the library, hurling the thickest volumes and collections he could at the librarians. <coughs> Speaking of which, isn't it odd all major religious, governmental, and fecal-based pornographic institutions fell, but the library still stand? Needless to say, before too long, Blue was barred from his book-tossing pleasure palace. So upset, he vowed revenge. Bookworm bitches! <laughs> the cruel and unforgiving librarians, nay the world that harbors them, will be felled by his hand. Bright, but at the same time somehow a rube. He had to figure out how to do it. Nuclear options were out of his grasp, as were catastrophic pathogens. 
He considered poisoning the world's water supplies, but that endeavor proved fruitless as well. Goddamn time traveling Guatemalans! Over 98% of the world populace had taken to separating all their drinking liquids from feces to kill time, and because everyone agreed it would be really funny if aliens visited and found that's how we found sustenance. Alas, the aliens never came. The drinking feces juice never became funny. So he decided to weaponize fungus. The ant mind control fungus, to be precise. He used the new smell vision trend that had taken over prime time to disperse his flatulent fungus gas. Before the dawn sun rose, the world grew silent, save for the one colorblind son of a bitch named Blue. Some say you can still hear him wandering the long, dilapidated streets and alleyways, bellowing out, There was time now. It isn't fair. You maniacs blew it up. What the fuck does blue look like? But most are dead, so they can't say anything. Welcome to the last outpost of the Coalition Against Tyrannical Societies. As you can see, um, we're not doing so hot. I'm the last member of the Northeastern Chapter. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. I'm the last one left. At least there'll be some kind of a record. I haven't eaten or had any water in 48 hours. Things have been rough. I still have nothing to go on. I'm very scared. I'm very hungry. They come out at night. They come out during the day. They learned how to climb ladders. They learned how to use our tools. They've learned how to open the refrigerator. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. What's that? Hopefully nothing. Another thing. I think it it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. I just barely made it back. I got caught one right in the ankle. I've never been more afraid in my life. Just a a pack of four-legged beasts frothing at the mouth. Their white jaws glistening, glowing red with blood. And worst of all, those gigantic ears flipping and flopping around as they ripped them limb from limb. They were learning. They were growing smarter. It began... It began harmlessly enough. Easily enough. Just teaching one how to play the piano. Another one learns how to push a stool towards the counter and get up on the, on the counter and into the toaster when you're out at work. Nobody, nobody trusts anybody now, and we're all very tired. Nothing else I can do. Just wait. Oh no. Oh, Osiris. They're here. They've come for me. They smelled, caught my scent, and they tracked me down. One last exit. Okay. Alright. You can do this. We can do this. Ah! There's gotta be a way out. Gotta be a way out of here. Please. No. Oh my god. Ah, he's got me. Oh! They're, they're, they're biting my penis off! Oh my god. My testicles. They're biting those off now too! They're eating. They're eating my anus. No! Argo fucking suck! <laughs>